Hello and welcome to the 53rd tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we will be looking at setting up the accelerometer to detect events. We will be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there will be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for accelerometer recognition in the form of events. This tutorial will only set up accelerometer events and the next tutorial will make use of it. So, little prerequisite, you will require some sort of device that has a accelerometer if you want touch mouse or keyboard events, then check over the last few tutorials in this series. In this tutorial, like I mentioned, we're just setting up so we won't actually be running it in any shape or form, we'll be running it in the next part of this series. So let's open up our app.js as we usually do, and in here we're going to detect if we have an accelerometer. So we need to check the system's capabilities. So if cc.sys.capabilities, make sure this is not spelled correctly, capabilities dot has own property, not proper to, and in here we just simply say accelerometer. I think I spelled T correctly, just make sure accelerometer. Yeah, that looks a okay to me. If not, we'll get errors or it just won't work. Okay, so we're gonna do cc dot input man. Actually, first of all, before we start doing some coding or anymore, we there are a couple of extra lines that we have to do compared to if we're setting up keyboard events for a mouse or touch or keyboard, which we'll show you now. So we need to set the interval. So cc dot input manager dot set accelerometer again want to make sure that's spelled correctly accelerometer looks so a okay to me interval and for this I'm gonna put one divided by ten and what this is uh, it is how often it detects accelerometer movement so for this it will detect it 10 times a second naturally you would want it higher 30 or preferably 60 so 1 divided by 60 aka you would want it running it or you would want the intervals at 60 frames a second so sort of how you have games running at 60 frames a second so you want the interval 60 times a second but for the purpose of these couple of tutorials it's just going to be 10 times a second so we can see the CC log which we'll be doing in the next part of the series a lot easier. That is the only reason why. So bear in mind, naturally you'll probably want to change this to something like 30 or 60. And again, you can experiment with the values to see what works for you. We need to uh, enable the accelerometer. To do that we do cc.inputmanager.set accelerometer it's not interval, it's enable, I thought just click enter, save me having to write accelerometer again. And for this, we're obviously going to put true. So, what we're going to do now is cc.eventManager, not manager, dot add listener, open bracket, curly braces, and in here we're going to do event dots, no, sorry, it's colon cc dot vent listener dot acceleration comma mm, acceleration looks a okay to me and the only last thing we've got to do for a comma this and semicolon so oh sorry I'm just not my keyboard so a free thing there but this is all set up now I just want to make sure it's all spell correctly so let's just go over it if cc dot sys uh, capabilities dot has on property accelerometer cc dot input manager dot set accelerometer interval one divided by ten cc dot input manager dot set accelerometer enabled true cc dot event manager dot add listener event cc dot event listener dot acceleration this yeah that looks a okay to me obviously need to save it we now have uh, accelerometer event setup. In the next tutorial we will cover detecting when the device has been tilted aka the accelerometer has been used. 
If you have any questions, feel free to message us at supportatsonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just direct and message us via YouTube, or the required link for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.